Hello guys, my name is Techshaman. Today I am going to show you how to render Infinity Background in Keyshot Pro. First of all, I just want to say a big thank you to all the subscribers and all the people who support me on my Patreon. Thank you. And if you don't know about my Patreon, just go and check out the link in the description. You can go to my Patreon page and get, get access to some 3D models and 3D scenes ready to render in Keyshot. So check it. And let's start working on this infinity background or infinity ground plane. A lot of you asked me in the previous videos how I'm doing these automotive ground planes or automotive backgrounds. So today I'm going to show you step by step process. First of all, I'm just going to delete this actual uh, background. So I'm going to delete it. And the setup is really easy. I already set up my HDRI and this is like the basic, basic color. It's the solid color black. All right. And now I am going to the edit, add geometry, add ground plane or add plane. And I'm just going to click on this planer right here and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, something to like this. Okay, much more bigger, maybe something to like this. Okay, this is all right. I'm going to click on this button. I'm going to click double click on this. I'm going to change this to the plastic material and I'm going to make this black. So now you can see how it looks. And I'm going to bring to this slot my uh, my uh, diffuse map. So let's open my texture tab and I'm going to use this. First of all, these thick textures are from Polygon. It's a free texture. You can find, find the link in the description to download it. So I'm going to use this one. And you can already see the scale is too big. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, something to like this. Okay, maybe again, a little bit smaller. Now this is, looks actually really good. I'm just going to the lightning tab and click on the basic to get better, better preview or faster preview. And I'm going back to my material type and you can already see this texture, it's too much bright. So I'm going down here and I'm going to bring this value down something to like this or something to like this, maybe. And this will be 1.25. So we got a bigger contrast and you can see we got a lot of reflection from the car and we don't want it. So I'm just going to the properties tab and I'm going to turn this a little bit dark. Okay, so this reflection completely disappear and I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to the texture, texture tab and I'm going to bring my band map as well. And I'm going to click on this. So it's the exact same image, but it's in the normal volume. So double click on this. And we need to also check this box because this is the normal map. So Keyshot will know how we want to render this. And you can already see there is like bump map and it got a little bit more freaky effect in this ground. So that's good. But we need to make these edges disappear. And it's really easy to make these edges disappear in the key shot. And there is in the texture tab, when you scroll it a little bit down, there is in this texture in the key shot. So we need to bring this texture to the opacity channel. So I'm just going to drag and drop this right here. Now you can see it's not looking really good because it's repeating and it's too much small. So we need to make this. We need to make unsync button and un uncheck this because when you got this check and you will start changing this value, you're also changing the value of these other maps. So we are going to unsync this. And we are going to turn this off. So now we got just one one circle here. 
and we are going to make this a little bit bigger, something like 100. Something a little bit more bigger, 250. And you can see we create this infinity background. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger, something like this. And that's it, guys. It's really simple how to render these textures and it's looking really good. And that's all. It's really simple in the key shot. And if you want to make it, I don't know, this a little bit darker, you just change these parameters and you got completely darker, darker ground plane. Or you can just bring these up and you will have more brighter. So I'm going to stick with this value and I'm going to bring this product rendering mode so it will be a little bit in the higher quality and we can also go to the image tab and I'm going to use a brand new style something to like this and I'm going to the photographic and I'm going to the linear I'm going to check these all I'm going to the linear and I'm just going to make this contrast a little bit higher and this little bit bluish tint and a little bit more to the exposure. And now you can see how it looks. It's really nice. It was really simple. And that's it. It's not not really not really complicated and it's the fast fast method how to create it. I believe there's other methods how to create infinity background or infinity ground plane but this is like like the really common one i'm going to show you how to also render this bugatti chiron so go to the render in render tab click on the render and i'm going to use png format and i'm going to use 2560 by 1440 pixels i'm going for the clown pad and i'm going to the options 256 sample, 14 rain bounces, you can use 16, and anti-aliasing free, shadow free, global illumination free, sharp shadows, sharp texture filtering, and global illumination cache on. So you just click on the render and you will have really, really good image. So guys, thank you for watching. This was just a short tutorial something like the quick tips if you got any questions let me know if you like this video hit the like button and if you want to support me check out my patreon page and hit the subscribe button guys thank you for watching have a nice day and have a nice render bye